Chase race number two takes us over Sean Delize, our second chase race of the season and our first time, or not the first time of the season heading to France and our second ever time in the entire NRSL series that we were heading over there for the Cup Series and all. We had a wild Xfinity race with a bunch of pit strategy going on around. In the end, Seth Cole managed to take the victory. And Ramian Fisher shocked everybody there. He got the top chase spot thanks to rookie Patrick Smith making a mistake, making a move on the high line with the lap car in the middle. Fisher, the veteran, went three wide ahead in the final corner. You see where most of the drivers are at. Took advantage, and the rest is history. So let's get down to your starting lineup. On the pole, we have Sky Commons. Next to him, Michael Walton. Third, Ian Dutta. Fourth, Trent Dutta. Excuse me there. Fifth, Charles Sanford. Sixth, Brett Pritchard. Seventh, DJ Curtis. Eighth, Kate Anderson. Ninth, Ember Ross. Felina, the top ten. Angel Navarro. I don't know why I just did that there. It was stupid. Here's the rest of your starting lineup from 11th on back. And on the final row, we have Levi McIntyre and Nathan Hudson. So interesting to see Sky Commons around here in this uh, fairly starting spot. Normally, we don't ever see him in the front row, which is a good sign right there. So that is a good sign to see the 24 guard. So we're going to put this on our done camera angle and get that out of the way right now. And we'll get this from here if I can pop this up in time. Here it is. So, as you know, we had our first chase race in Orlando. And Joshua Osborne still retained the points lead as car number 27. He had a terrific run. Uh, Ian Dutta remained consistent as well. And my knowledge and my memory. Um, Cody Lamas, he's looking for redemption. My apologies, folks. I don't know what's going on. I'm, like, yawning very badly today. Cody Lamas, there he is, in the middle of the field on the inside line. He's got to hope he gets around some cars and hopefully gets a good run of momentum. We'll see how he does through the portion of this race. And if you've seen your points leader on the outside toward the rear of the field. Not a good qualifying effort, but we'll see what he can do. We're about ready to get the command shortly. Let's go down track side to get the command. Drivers. Start your engines. And there's the command, as you know. Sky Commons with his pole there. He will be in the Budweiser shootout next season. And all 42 cars rolling on off. We're just going to remain on the helicopter angle here for this portion. And we're about ready to turn them loose. So here we go. Chase race number two, about ready to be underway. Commons, Walton, Dutta, Dunham, Sanford, Pritchard, your top six. As here we go. Green flag is out. We are underway here at Sean Delize. Sanford went three wide with Dutta and Dunham. Commons trying to work on that inside line off of Michael Walton. In clear, Walton trying to use that highlight or the right side of the course to make the pass on Sky Commons. Commons trying to clear that 99. We'll do it. Commons will hang on to the lead for now. But here comes Michael Walton working on that right side of the course. That's what you want to be on. It starts. Wow, look at how crazy that is over there. Four wide in lap number one. He settled back out to three. Now they're back to four wide. John Art stuck on that extreme high line. Wow, James Qualls. I don't know how he didn't hit that wall right there. And they'll settle back out to three. Wow, wild already on lap number one. Still side by side as Commons and Waldy are not giving up. Walton, though, 
trying to get the lead is the Daytona 500 winner. Will complete the pass. Michael Walton will lead lap number one of this race. He had done a trying to get underneath Comets three wide for the lead. He needs a big lap lead. Otherwise, it's not going to look good for that 32 team. Despite being very consistent in that Orlando race, still a lap lead would pretty much mean everything to that 32 team. Right now, top chaser, or, or my apologies, Mike Wallen's top chaser, but battle for that top chaser spot is really heating up, though, as Wallen, who led that lap, will get that bonus point. Comet still fight with that 99. I'll tell you what, that 24 really has not given up on that battle. And Comet will tuck back in line because now Charles Sanford is going to take an uh, opportunity for that second position. So Walton leading that lap was a very big moment right there. Look at Dunna trying to sneak three wide, at least was thinking about it. Samper looking on that right side of the course. And that's not going to help the 03 out at all. Walton will lead lap number two. This battle of the lead really just taking into fruition right there. Sky Com is trying to complete the pass on Charles Samper so that he can focus all on Michael Walton. And will do so thanks to the 03 slipping the course. So far, there's not been any wrecks or any cars with damage. Everyone's been a okay We had a couple wrecks take place in the Xfinity race. For the moment, everyone's all good. Got a small separation between John Art and Kyle Matthews and between, uh, between Zach Rogers, Seth Bull, and Clinton Moore and R.J. Bishop. Not a whole lot, but just a, a little bit. Some other chasers outside of me and Dunham, Michael Walton, Trent Dunham, a good run right there in the fifth position. Jessica Shelton, six, DJ Curtis, seven. Major Navarro in 11. There's Cody Lamas, that's around 15th, give or take. Trying to get around Jeffrey Fingai and Dylan Pote, you're seeing at 48. More, not a good qualifying effort for the 89 team. Definitely not what he needed at all. Seth Cole, the same can be said. Right now, 26 is the strike Chevrolet SS. Couple cars going a little bit off the courts there, but they're keeping it together. James Falls, last score, 34th. Kyle Keefe, 35th. Jackie Tank, 36th. All oh, those drivers in a bad area to be in there. And that's a bigger blow right there. Joshua Osborne, 38th. Looking through the field. He's not the worst chaser because that is actually Clint Spillman and Nathan Hudson. At last, once again, in comments, retook the lead from Walton. Top three just knows the tail. They're not getting any separation from one another. Trent Dunham in that one car you see there in fifth place trying to get up to Charles Sanford there. Jessica Shelton, the teammate of Charles Sanford, trying to deny that opportunity. Let's go on board with Sky Commons here. Show you a lap around this course for those who are brand new to the channel and all that. And are just watching the prestigious cups here. here. Here's a lap on... on. 24 team of Sky Commons and you show around Wheels of Fire. If you've not watched Dubai and kind of wondered what it's like there, this is a more banked and more elevated version of Dubai. Dubai is a very flat track, keep in mind. As you can see, this is where the main difference is. A lot of the bank turns that are around here, as Michael Walton is battling for that top position, you can see. And then this is the part where it's really different. In Dubai, it's a big, huge turn, while in Champs-Élysées, it's a small turn, and then a straightaway, and then another small turn that takes place. The elevation really changes over here. There is a quick S-turn right here. 
that is a very hard right-hander right here. This is where a lot of the spectators get their viewing here on the left side and, of course, the right side where the cameras like to block off and you can't see anything. And this is where we had our beginning of the onboard where our final turn comes around and a lot of moves could take place over here. Left around. Holden starts up back. What car just seen head down pit road? I think that was the 77. Oh, it's Ember Ross in the 20, actually. I thought I'd seen a right car come down. Right now, just Ember Ross, the only one down pit road. So she is going to do some early strategy on lap 6 of 27. That's a non-chaser, though, keep in mind. Anderson trying to slide Devin Becker out of the way for position. That's for position inside of the top 20. Rick Richard battling DJ Curtis. That's between non-chasers there. Richard having a great run in eighth after a, a great run that he basically very well needed at Orlando there. And will these guys come down pit road with that solidifying of that early pit stop? I don't see any other leaders coming on down. So one car is pulling the Kev Shear stop from the Xfinity series. Wow, look at Jackie Dane trying to take advantage of James Walls. It will get a pass. Wow, that 70 team did not see that coming. But Qualls did not like that one bit. And he's going to try to take advantage of Dane trying to get that pass. And we'll get his position back and trying to get Kyle Key in the 42. Not going to be the case, though. So the Xfinity Series, lap 7, just about the majority of the leaders came down pit road. It's the battle between chasers. That's DJ Curtis and Jessica Shelton. That is for 6 right there. Shelton trying to keep her position. Curtis trying to take that 6th position. Or I think right here she's going to get that spot and... Yeah, kind of not surprised. She's going to get it. Richard, though, trying to take advantage on that three car. And leader's coming down. Dunham going to stay out, and he's going to get that bonus point. Dunham is down. Shelton is down. Daniel Olsen down. Seth Pohl. Wow, JT Bryant just shoved Connor Meyer out of the way. And gets the spot for now. If McCurry also down in car number 61. There's Ember Ross who did that early pit stop. I don't know if that's going to work out to the 20's favor, but worth a try. The top two coming on down. We'll see what strategy some drivers will do. Hopefully it'll work out for some drivers in the chase that are really in the rear of the field that really need to get up there for that good run. But we'll see what happens. As I mentioned before, Ian Dutta leading that lap will get a bonus point. That is a big break for that 32 team. Out in a way are the drivers. Michael Walton lost ground on Sky Commons in the 24. And Ember Ross. All over the back bumper, the Tony the Tiger Ford. Wow, she was making contact with that 99 car. I'm amazed she didn't wreck him. And one car staying out. That's Jackie Tang. Everybody else on down. Now one car staying out. But however, Dunn is going to lead that lap. The, oh, Spitzwater actually stayed out as well. So Fitzwater and Jackie Tang are the only two cars left out on the course who have not come down pit road yet.
Now the question is, where are those leaders? There they are. You can see they're just passing cars left and right. And some cars trying to leave pit road. Are they going to be able to complete it like Ian Dutta? He's trying to beat out that 24, but I just don't think it is. And nope, not going to be the case. Comments retakes the lead. Dutta, however, trying to hold on second place, it looks like, over Michael Walton, the 99. He kind of shut the door on that Tony the Tiger Ford. And could not hold on. Oh, wow. Ross nearly just turned the 32 right there. Coming to the inside of Charles Sanford for position. We'll get it. And Nathan Hudson also staying out in the 11 car. As Fitzwater will lead another lap. Ping and Hudson all down pit road are those three drivers. Slow pit stop for the 70 team. They're really, really not having a good day. Neither is Osborne. Fitzwater out and away, and I, it's safe to say, yeah, he wasn't going to do it. A new leader, Sky Commons in the 24. Oh, wow. Dunna went way off the course. Dunna actually got passed by the one team of Dunham, and they're flying. Here comes Sega Keep. So we're waiting for the official wording of who will get the lead until when they cross the limb. I think it's safe to say Sky Commons trying to run away with this lead. Walton second. Ross, right now, it looks like she's in that third position. Great pit stop strategy by that 20 team. I don't know if it'll work out, but we shall see in the later run. Trent Dunham right now in fourth. Fifth in Dutta. Sixth, Jessica Sheldon. Teammate, Charles Sanford, seven. Eighth, DJ Curtis. Ninth, Daniel Olson. Clean the top ten. Age Navarro, not a bad day. And look who's 11. Seth Cole in the 33. That pit strategy worked out to the favor. Fitzwater fell all the way back to 12, so not a bad strategy there. Lamas is 14. And looking through here. There's Tang. We'll find out where he crossed the line in just a bit, but there it is. It is official on who got what. Dutta again under fire for position. That 32 team way off the turn there. And that 32, ever since that pit stop, has been free-falling to the back. Bang was last scored in the 22nd position. That's a jump to 25th. Not a bad strategy by that 11 team. Good Moores fell back to 31st. Spillman, 32nd. Kyle Keith, 36. Osborne, 37. James Qualls, 40th. And one car way in the rear of the field is Pauly the third. In the 06, he is actually down pit road. And I don't see any damage. He must have had a problem in mechanically there. Because there has been nothing done to that 06 team. It may have been. Ping guy, though, has rear damage. I may be wrong. We had a crash, but I don't know exactly where. The problems for Jeffrey Pingai and that 92 team. Charles Sanford, Emma Ross, battling for position right there. And that's a couple of non-chasers there. Keep in mind, Emma Ross won the Xfinity race in Orlando last week. Now she's trying to hunt down Charles Sanford for, uh, looks like that is the sixth position. Sky Com has basically been a race all about him. Able to run away, but I'll tell you what. Michael Ball may have a chaser that may actually challenge him for that top chase spot, and that is that Sega Dodge 
Daytona of Trent Dunham. And those Dodge Daytonas have really not been doing well with the exception of this driver right here. He has been very consistent, but no wins. They're going to be moving back to Chevy next season. Oh, I just see where the skin marks are. See it right there. Heading to the final turn. Uh, getting close to the, it was at the second to last turn. And, yep, Emma Ross down pit road is the 20. Let's see that margin between Dunham and Walton. Less than a second last time by. Now, six tenths behind. Dunham has just about caught the 99 car. Pretty sure with the fastest lap of 125.4 there. Or 054, excuse me. Let's see the last laps between the top three. Sky Commons is at a 126.87, 722 for Michael Wallen, but a 438 for Dunham. You can tell Dunham has got a little bit of a faster car. These two tens. Dunham have been falling back to the fifth position there. Still not a bad run for the outer wall Chevrolet for Phoenix Racing. At least in his final season, we'll be battling for the championship and he has been very consistent in that 32 team. Still without a win, however. He's been close a couple times. Not enough. And I realize someone's not in the top 10. That's the 77 car of Navarro. Who fell quite a ways back. But Murray, oh wow. He's like top 20-ish. Top 15, actually. Under fire with Anthony McCurry for that position. Yeah, it's a little abnormal right there. Very abnormal. And Paul the third still uh, continuing. Three laps down. He actually still on pit road. Oh, he just left pit road now. And the problems for Pollard the third only continuing to come worse. And now, he'll be leaving pit road now. From what it looks like, he does not have any damage. So that is a good sign. But now comes the question is, how far off the pace will that 06 car be? Qualls will get around that SKF Jetta. And Zachary Fitzwater, Jeffrey Fingai, teammates. Oh, there's a crash! DJ Curtis! Jeffrey Fingai, RJ Bishop down. These are guys running in the top 10. I don't see anybody else with damage. Bishop leaving pit road right now. Fingai doing the same. As Udda will lead the lap as Commons and others are down. Top three down, Jessica Shelton, Seth Cole. They're on pit strategy number two, Anthony McCurry on down. The road course ringer. Keep in mind, we will have one more road course this season for both series. And they'll be at Chase Race number nine, which is over at Sebring. That race will definitely be worth watch right there. You would not want to miss it. Meanwhile, up to the front of the field, as Tang and Anderson are balanced side by side for position. It may not matter much because they're going to be coming down pit roads shortly after. But then Samper balanced side by side. This could potentially lead Samper having a lead lap there. If that is the case, they're still side by side. They're both going to stay out an extra lap. Keep in mind, Bishop's got damage in that 98 car. And William Duncan, Cody Lamas surrendering their position. Richard Dittbecker, Olsen, Dang will stay out. Navarro, Anderson, Bryant. We're coming down. Hudson staying out. Kyle Matthews going to stay out. Dylan Pochi going to stay out. Everyone else all down. I don't see... Oh! Elijah Gilbert. 
staying out. And the lap down car, Paul the third. I noticed right side damage on the 70 machine of James Qualls. Is there's the leaders coming on down. Levi McIntyre also down. I don't know how well you'll see it. I thought I'd seen damage on that 70 team. My apologies, said folks. I am seeing things. I, I I seen it from an angle that there was damage, but not quite. Tom is still ahead of Michael Walden and Trent Dunham. And Dunham is actually getting closer and closer to that 99 car. They're really watching their pace, man, because if they, if they run out of gas, that's going to be bad. Keep in mind, we're about ready to head to 11 laps to go when we cross the line. Dunn and Samp are coming on down now, and I don't blame them one bit. Now this will allow Jeffrey Fingai and RJ Bishop to get a lap back. Jackie Tang will come on down. Nathan Hudson, Kyle Matthews, Dylan Poteen are all down. Wait to see if Elijah Gilbert is coming on down in that 30 machine for Queen X Racing, and he will as well. So now just about everyone coming back down pit road. I'm sorry with the whole camera angles of change here. Watching Ian Dutta here in that 32 car. There's the 24, and no way they are going to beat them. Worth a try, but they're going to try to see if they're going to have the leaders there come on down one more time, and they're going to try to stay out and risk it. And a very slow stop for Ian Dutta and Charles Sanford. They really paid the price right there for staying out a lap too many. Comments, though, just having the ride of his life right there, trying to look for his second career Cup Series victory. His last win, to my knowledge, I want to say was... I want to say it was the, the 400 for Daytona, or it was the Brickyard 400. It was one of those two. I remember it was a big race, and it was the 400. But however, to my, to my memory, it has not hit me. But that top three, though are still within each other. Dunham is trying to get up to Walton's rear, but he's starting to lose a little bit of ground. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. You can see by the speed difference, they're not really up there. Walton looking to the right side. That's not where you want to make your pass, Michael. We'll tuck back in line for now. Remember Ross in the fifth position, that short strap, short stop strategy there. Coming in favor for the Husky Toyota Camry there. And Dutta fell all the way back to sixth place. Seth Cole got around Charles Sanford for that seventh spot. Now Seth Cole, keep in mind, these both are chasers here. And Cole will complete the pass on Ian Dutta. That strategy on the 32 and the 03, they are paying the price for it. And Cody Lamas up to 10. The great run for the 48 team. Very very redeemable run for that 48 team. And look at this. Dunham has caught the rear bumper of Michael Walton in the 99. Oh, problems for Dylan Poteen in the 31. He's got damage and his motor's expired. Someone may have dumped that 31 car. And I have no idea who did it because I don't know really who would be the culprit, but bad break right there. Look at this. The top three all within one another. If I were Sky Commons, I'd hold on to that lead for dear life. Because he's got a hold off two chasers, let alone two hungry chasers that want that bonus point of a win. To come in effect, or two bonus points, excuse me. Seth Cole. Trying to hold off Ian Dutta right there, and will do so. Now, with Dutta having an extra two laps compared to the normal leaders, it is a very risky move because, you know, how far back they are. But they don't come down pit road. I think Dutta may have a shot. And Dutta realizes he's got a car with fresher rubber. On those tires, 
And now it's finally warmed up. He's going to go to the inside of the Sprite Chevrolet SS of Seth Cole in that Sprite, in that Sprite car there. And Dutta with a nice move right there. Charles Samper will follow. They, it looks like they're working together. They got some strategy working together. Whoa, Santer. Samper there kind of pushed the corner right there of that 32 car. They kept it together. Great save. Emma Ross coming on down for the final time tonight, or today, I should say. Collier third yet again coming on down pit road. Probably his final time of service. This day's going from bad to worse there. And is anyone out of the race? Dylan Pote with a piston issue. EJ Curtis. Zachary Fitzwater. Collier the third four laps down. Tough break for some of those guys right there. We have seven laps to go next time by when we cross the line. The Comets. The race of his life right there. Really not meant to be a road course ringer too, but doing a hell of a job right there. Take a look at some of the rear of the field and key notables there. James Qualls is just not having that run right now. Neither is Joshua Osborne. That's a big blow right there. I don't even know if he's going to hang on to the points lead after this race. That's that bad. Kyle Keith, Quinn Spillman, Quentin Moore. Change in Navarro, all the way back to 24th. How about Nathan Hudson, the Brit there, started this race dead last. The pit strategy has been working pretty solid for that FedEx Toyota. Has jumped up to 17. Great run for that FedEx Camry. Car down, that's R.J. Bishop in the 98, trying to make sure he's out of harm's way there. Dunn and Samper trying to hunt down Jessica Shelton, who's just sitting very patiently in that fourth spot. Chasers right now in that top 10 slot are second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, and ninth. At least a quarter of the chasers in that top 10 alone having very good days. But that old saying goes, doesn't matter where you start, matters where you finish. You want to be ahead of everyone, like if you're Michael Wallen. But even better, you want that win. And he's trying as hard as he can to get up to that core, that core 24 Chevrolet. But man, it's like Thomas just knows every line Wallen's going to do. And he's just doing even better. 978, 995, 121. Yeah, Thomas got a little bit of a better car there. Dunham is starting to... Fade out. And oh, leader's coming down. Interesting. Lap 21. Shelton on down as well. Dunn and Samper, I'm not surprised. They're going to stay out. You'll leave the lap. It'll be Dutta. A lot of eyes will be on this man right here. Because this is money stop right here. And look at the top three all together. Finn guy trying to get out of the way. Smart move by the 92. Just about all going in at the same time. Dunham got in first, though. Had a little bit of a slide into his stall, though. But you can see the car went down first on the one and getting up first. I don't know. We're just going to have to take a look at this battle of pit road first just to see the case here. And there's still all nose to tail. Oh, wow, Dunham actually trying to pass the 99 on pit road, and he's going to do it. What a move by Trent Dunham. Walton was not ready for that at all, and he's going to pay the price, especially the fact that R.J. Bishop, no, he's not. Walton's got to get going now. He fell back quite a ways because of that move by Dunham. What a move by the veteran. Now... The bigger question, the two the two main drivers that stayed out the longest, are they going to... Oh, Dunn is coming down pit road! Sanford's going to stay out and risk it! Dunn has got to nail this stop right here, otherwise game over. Jackie Tang, though, top chaser. Nathan Hudson. Kyle Matthews. There's Finn Guy in the 92. 
Outside pole sitter in his stall. Where's that 24 car? He's somewhere here. There he is. They got to get that 32 out now. He's out of the way. Dada, I think he may actually pull off some strategy. There are two tires, and he is out in the head of Seth Cole to 24. And Shrek Dunham out for that top position. Heat up now. They're passing Lamas. Oh, Dunham had to check up there, but they're not going to get around William Dogan in the 55. Ian Dutta may have just played some good strategy, and now Commons and Dunham are going to get around William Duncan. However, Trent Dunham had a little more trouble than Sky Commons did. Now the main question, Charles Samper. He's coming down. He could not hold on. I'm honestly not surprised at that. By McIntyre down pit road, Jackie Tang is down, Nathan Hudson is down, Kyle Matthews is down, and that is just about all the leaders, now confirmed all the leaders, are on pit road, and look at who is leading right now, trying to get his first win of the season, trying to do it on a farewell note, he had done on the 32, Commons, Dunham, they're going to do what they can to hunt that 32 car down, because of Dunham's strategy, He's got to hold on for dear life for three more laps. Car coming off pit road. That's Charles Sanford in the 03. Is he going to hold off Dutta? I don't believe it. Charles Sanford and Ian Dutta, they one up another. And now Sanford leading them down. Sanford really ain't up the speed. Tires ain't even warmed up. And Dutta's now closed in on the 03. But if I were Dutta, you better keep an eye on that white and yellow car of Sky Commons and the white and blue and red of Trent Dunham. They're closing in. This race is far from over. Three laps to go when we cross the line here for Charles Sanford and Ian Dutta. They played their strategies to an extent of favor. And now they got to hold on for dear life here. Dutta, look at this, to the inside. He's looking. Can't seem to do it. Sanford trying to block. Can't do it. Here comes Dutta. Dutta realizes he's got to go now because that 24 is coming. Because look how much ground he gained on the 03 and the 32. Here comes Comets. Trent Dunham also has caught him. Here comes Sky. He's looking to the left side of the course. Battle for the lead. Sky Comets. Ian Dutta. Comments, no problem whatsoever. Comments will retake the lead with three laps to go. That is kind of up to speed, but just fresher rubber. Really doesn't heat up, but it ain't over yet, though. That is going to try to push, though. As of one since last season, the same for Sky Commons. I cannot remember for Sky Commons when his last win was. Or actually, my mistake, Dutta actually did not win last season. He was the only driver of that team to not win. Hoti won three races. Elijah Gilbert won a race last season. And then Seth Cole won two races, I believe it was. Top three literally knows the tail. William Duncan will sit literally in a fifth position. Michael Wallen got to be disappointed with that stop. How about Cody Lamas at six? And Dunham's got a little bit of front end damage. I don't know if you noticed. I, I think he hit the 32. Two to go, though. Here comes Dunham. Made Dunham slip the course. And now the one has taken second. The new top chaser is Trent Dunham in the one car, but he's got to, I think he's out of time on catching that 24. He had so much ground getting held up. Now he's got to hunt down the 24 with a little bit of a damaged car. I don't think that's enough, man. A great idea by Ian Dunham, the 32. Just not enough against two powerful cars. Michael Wall going around William Duncan for fifth. 
How about some other notables there? You got Seth Cole going around Cody Lamas. Sean going around Ross. Hang with a really good run. Same for Brett Prichard. I'm amazed, though, with Nathan Hudson. He's going to get a top 20 effort after starting dead last this entire race after everything with pit stops. Unbelievable. But we are about ready to head for the white flag here for Sky Commons in the 24. Slow car up ahead is Levi McIntyre. Could he be an issue? White flag displayed for Sky Commons in the 24. As Pollard is down pit road. None of his is nearly nine tenths back. What do you do if you're tread dumb? Just hope and pray that the 19 is getting caught by that 24. He's going to get held up enough. We've seen a, a near last lap pass for the win here yesterday, mainly with the top chasers because of the slow lap down car. Well, Levi McIntyre is kind of off the pace but he really isn't. I think they're going to catch him. If I were Levi, man, oh boy. Comments. He's about ready to approach the bumper of the 19. Toyota Camry. Trying to hope he can make a pass. Goes to the inside with no problem whatsoever. I think that's going to seal it right there for Sky Comments. McIntyre swinging it wide. Is the 19. Yep, that's going to be all she does right there. Coming into the final turn here at Shawn's Elyse, Sky Commons going to break a, at least the season-long winless streak. And coming off the final turn, the Season 3 champion heading back to victory lane. He wins at the road course of Shawn's Elyse in France. How about that for Sky Commons? Trent Dunham will come away with a second-place spot there in that second Dodge Daytona. Ian Dutta, another, yet another consistent run in third. Samper will get fourth. Michael Walton, major redemption right there, will come away fifth. Uh, Seth Cole, sixth. He also had some redemption. Seventh was Cody Lamas. He definitely redeemed. Ninth, Jessica Shelton. Eighth, or I said, I said eighth with Cody Lamas. Ninth, Jessica Shelton, played the top ten. Ember Ross. Naki Tang will come away eleventh. Rest of the Chasers. Oh, outside of a chaser mentioned, Nathan Hudson, 18th. Who's 19th there? Johnny Carter was 18th, okay. Ben Moore will come away 25th. Clint Spillman, 26th. Kyle Keefe, 27th. Joshua Osborne at the big blow right there, 29th right there. Is Castle GTX Camaro. Angel Navarro, 34th. James Qualls, 33rd. And that is it there, but what a race, though. For Sky Commons. His second career Cup Series victory. Here in the NRSL, he will get the job done. And you see the rest of the drivers coming on down pit road. You kind of seen who was there, but we'll show your fishing results. Take a look at the wrecks in just a second. So let's take a look what happened to our wrecks that took place. Okay, watch DJ Curtis as you see. He's heading into turn number one. And keep an eye on the speed. Now, as you can see, the Jack Links Toyota is actually running um, through the turns all right. And then something's going to happen, I think, off the turn. Oh, right there. Just the car broke down, I think. Yep, right there. Oh, he blew the engine. That's what happened. And that was like one of the worst places to do that. And that explains the huge separation at the time. Olsen, Navarro, Seth Cole seen that opportunity. Goes to the inside. Took all those spots that he needed. Same could be said for Cody Lamas there. Angel Navarro got stuck behind the 15 of his teammate. I think that explains why Navarro is not going to have him on the team next season. And watch right here. Cars are trying to get around. Navarro actually got him in the rear there. And Curtis's car just literally died. I don't know what happened. And RJ Bishop was not paying attention. Goes into the 15. That's just, that was what happened in the 98. That was a tough blow right there. 
That explains that incident. Let's take a look at the other incidents taking place. I also want to point out, too, this was literally just after that wreck. Watch Zachary Fitzwater in the 16 at Ford Mustang. By his own business, after getting through that wreck, thought everything was all good, warming up the gears. And my own business. And then Kablooey. Engine expires in the Beartech Ford Mustang. That explains what happened to Fitzwater's ordeal. At least the lucky break this time. Cody Lamas, who had to deal with a little bit of that oil, though, got around the 16 with no problems. So that is at least a good sign right there. And I believe there's one more wreck that took place. Let's take a look, though. And this is a look what happened to Dylan Pote. Keith Batson he was literally behind the 31 the entire time after Pote made that second pit stop there. And Batson just had enough of it, and he is going to dump the Aquafina Chevrolet outside. So he took a shot to that right side wall right there, and engine expired on that 31 machine. There were some skid marks. Before the last turn, we're going to take a look off the air and see if we can find out what happened. And my apologies, folks. I thought there were some skid marks, at least before the final turn. I did not see any, so my apologies on that. But anyways, one last look at the results after Wheels of Fire. But thank you guys for watching. If you like, be sure to give a like. I'm your thoughts to save. Subscribe if you're the interest. by hitting that subscribe button. And we will see you guys later for Chase Race number three, which will be over at the Pocono Fairgrounds. Till then, this is your boy, 8675309858, signing off here from Wheels of Fire. Till then, goodbye everybody, here come the points.